own idea, you know, to run over there. They've got absolutely nothing. They haven't even got a bottle of spring water. I mean, I asked you. Chips are okay. In its belly, Aeroflot's biggest passenger plane can carry 50,000 litres of fuel and 80,000 pounds of cargo, but not without 30 litres of water. The delay is finally brought to an end, thanks to two bottles of water borrowed from Air France. Go ahead, Ruth. Jeremy's flight is 75 minutes late, but the passengers will have their tea. He's still waving, actually. Bless him. Now, we'd like to have... Uh, it's supper time, and Egon's last visit is to a troubled outlet he's pledged to turn around. The staff canteen is geared to serve the needs of 18,000 people. Right down here. Mm. Down here? Yes, we'll be fine. Um, Egon, look at this. Awful. Vegetarian pie. God help us. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I would hesitate to give it to my dog, dog frankly. I'm not joking. Mm. At the Royal Suite, the Queen's own jet is waiting. So is Anita and an RAF crew. Hello. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Just come to see what the weather's doing up north and uh, whether we'll have any delays or whether we're going to go off on time. Well, we, uh, we don't expect any traffic delays, but uh, part of the time we've got my wind here, as usual. Uh, this is the Duke of York standard which we actually uh, fly through the roof of the aircraft um, only during taxiing. When he arrives at the aircraft, we put it up. Once that's up, it means he's on board. Cheers, chaps. Prince Andrew is flying to Scotland for dinner. He's Anita's very last guest of the day. They're kind of running a bit behind schedule, so uh, we want to get him on board as quickly as possible. 1800, so half an hour still. Yeah. <sighs> this is... So far, I think the w my worst experience that I've ever had at the airport. Every single item is for the dustbin, not fit to be put on the plane. The thing is, it's like, I didn't know that they're food inspector. I thought it's regular customers. I just uh, it's like that's regular customers. Right. Obviously, we Take this have to create a bit of an upheaval about mm. this. Yes. The RAF are rehearsing the drill for the royal arrival. And Anita's still waiting for her prince to come. Are you enjoying the glamour of your job? The glamour? Does this look glamorous? <laughs> Minus 10 degrees wind chill. Your Highness, good evening. Good evening. All well? Yes, thank you. I was waiting for my luggage. It's got split up, so... <laughs> ah, all right. Well, I think you've got a bit of a headwind, so they want to get you off as soon as possible. Yeah, really? Well, I'm not fussed about it. There's any very... It's only dinner tonight, and then tomorrow is the, is the, uh, is the stove. Hence the get-up. Well, I've got to go to dinner. Well, I'm having a dinner tonight, so... I hope you're not late for it. Uh, no, no, no. I won't be late for it. Don't Everybody wait. else will be early. <laughs> All of the Duke of York's guests arrived early for their dinner date. Merla's ten passengers flew out to Jamaica the next morning. The only people on a 250-seater jet. This year, Egon awarded 39 chef's hats and removed five. The staff canteen is to have a £2 million overhaul and a new catering contract.